Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD IPC 230-K HDMI extender kit. This product was designed to make it very simple for you to share any HDMI media source with a second location up to 70 meters away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 cable at a full 4K ultra high definition resolution. The product also features local loopback functionality, which means you can connect the monitor up at the primary location and actually enjoy the content you're transmitting to that secondary location. Also included with the kit are a set of IR blaster modules that will pick up the infrared remote control signals from your second location and send those back over that same network connection to the primary location so you can actually control the media you're watching. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you all the components that are included with the kit, and then I'll list the audio and video standards of product and support, and we'll take a closer look at all of the components that are included so you understand exactly what they do, and then I'll come back and install the unit here to show you just how easy it is to use with your own equipment at home. So let's get started with the unboxing. Inside the box, you'll find a transmitter module, receiver module, a set of infrared blasters that are used with those modules, a full printed user manual that gives you all the information you'll need to understand how to use the unit, including connection diagrams, specifications, uh, information on what the buttons do and what the indicators mean. Everything you need is in that manual. Also included is a set of brackets you can use to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way. And then finally, a single power supply that can be used at the transmitter or receiver end, and it actually provides power over that same network connection to the other module. So you'll plug this into the wall, plug this into either one of these modules, and that's all the power you'll need to operate both of these modules. So if you stay tuned, I'll list the specifications for the audio and video the product can support, and then we'll take a closer look at all the components so I can explain what they do. The product supports full ultra high definition 4K media at both 50 and 60 Hertz. It includes support for HDR video, as well as providing an EDID bypass function. The device has audio extraction features that can pass audio through an analog or digital connection. It also provides support for Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby True HD, and Dolby Digital Audio. Finally, an IR blaster kit is also included to make control of the media device very easy. The O-Ray UHD IPC 230-K can be used with most modern media devices, including game consoles, cable boxes, streaming media devices, DVD players, and home surveillance systems. Inside the kit, you'll find the transmitter module, receiver module, a printed user manual that gives you all the information you'll need to understand exactly what the unit can do, including connection diagrams, specifications, uh, information on what the buttons do and what the indicators mean. There are also two infrared blasters included, and they're different. This is infrared in, this is infrared out. It's important you connect the infrared in to the receiver and the infrared out to the transmitter, and they're labeled on the end. So that's infrared in, this one's labeled infrared out. And again, you've got to marry those up with the correct module. Also included is a power supply. It's a standard 5-volt power supply with a barrel connector on the back. Now, what's interesting is this has got power over connection built in, so you can plug this into the receiver or the transmitter, and the power for the other module will actually be sent over that same network connection. So you only need one power supply to operate both of these modules. And finally, there's a set of brackets for the transmitter and receiver modules that allow you to mount these up off the ground and out of the way, including screws that can actually mount the brackets to the modules. Now I'll take a closer look at both of the modules, and I'll start with the transmitter module. Both of these products feature full metal enclosures, which makes them really durable, and also helps to minimize the chances of outside interference, causing any issues with the sensitive audio and video you're transmitting between them. On the top of the module and the sides, you'll notice a ribbing that's actually a heat sink that helps to dissipate the heat inside to keep the sensitive electronics at a comfortable temperature. On both sides of the modules are mounting holes that can be used with the included brackets. You'll mount the bracket to the module, then you can mount that module up off the ground and out of the way. Nothing really to see on the bottom. On the one end, you'll find a reset button, and that's used to reset the module if needed. On the right-hand side, you'll see a power indicator. When you connect power up to this module, or if you connect power to the other module and make the network connection between them, that will light up to let you know you've got valid power to both units. In the center is your network connection. Now this has to be a CAT6 or CAT7 cable between the two modules. This one's labeled CAT6 out because the transmitter is actually sending your audio and video to the remote receiver. On the other side, you'll find a power supply connection here. Again, you can connect the power supply up here or at the remote end. Once you make the network connection, that's enough power for both modules. 
two HDMI connections, input and output. The input is connected to your media source, whether that's a DVD player or a computer or game console. You'll connect the HDMI from here to that source. This unit features a local loopback function, so you can actually connect another HDMI cable from here to a monitor and enjoy the same content you're sending to the remote location at your primary location. To the right of that is where the IR blasters are connected. Now, because this is the transmitter module, you'll connect the IR blaster module here to the IR out, and you'll connect the IR in blaster to this end. And what's happening there is you're picking up the infrared signals at the remote end. They're being transmitted over that network connection and broadcast out of this IR out to whatever media device you're using so you can control the play on that media device. All right, the receiver looks very similar. Again, heat sinks on the top and the side. You've got the same mounting holes on the side, nothing to see on the bottom. On the one end, you've got the same reset button and power indicator. In the center, you've got your network connection, which is the cable connecting these two modules together. To the left of that is the S, P diff, or arc selector. And what that's used for is deciding where the audio is going to come from, because this unit can provide external audio, and it can either do that through the HDMI connection or through the optical connection on the other side. I'll show you that in a minute. But that switch allows you to select between the two. All right, on the other end, you've got a power supply connection again here. This is your optical output, or you can just use the connected monitor to listen to the audio on that. So that switch on this other side determines if you're going to come out of here or you're going to come out of there. And again, your infrared blaster connections here. Now in this one, you're going to connect up the IR in module right there, and that's going to pick up the infrared remote signals and transmit those over the same network connection to that primary site and control the media you're watching. Now I'll show you just how easy it is to use this product with your own equipment at home. For this demonstration, on this side of the table, I'm simulating the primary location in your home. It's wherever you're enjoying the content today that you'd like to send to that second location. I have a monitor set up, a media player down there that's looping a video, and I'm going to use that video as the content I'm going to broadcast to the second location. On this side of the desk, I'm simulating that secondary location. That could be an upstairs bedroom or downstairs in your den. It's wherever you'd like to enjoy the content from that primary location. Now, I've got the transmitter here and the receiver module over here. And I'll start by connecting up the transmitter module. The first connection I'll make is the media source. I'll disconnect that from the monitor and connect that up to the HDMI input port in the back of the transmitter. Now, the product provides local loopback functionality, which means you can enjoy that same content at the primary location while you're transmitting it to the second location. And to do that, you'll need a second HDMI cable, and I'll connect that up to the monitor first, and then to the HDMI output port in the transmitter. Now I'm ready to add power. I've already plugged the power supply in, so all I have to do is insert the barrel connector on the back. Now, the minute I do, watch the LED on the front. The LED comes on immediately, and what's happening is the unit's going through what's called a power on self-test, where it's checking all the internal electronics to make sure everything's working fine. It's also checking the resolution of the input source against the resolution of the monitor, and it's making whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. And that took a couple of seconds to do. This is ready to go. Now I'm going to connect up the receiver module next, and what's interesting is you only need one power supply because the unit also features power over connection or what's called power over ethernet, which means once you plug a power supply into one module and make the network connection between them, the audio and video is transmitted over that network connection as well as power. So what I'll do to show you that, and again, you can have these up to 70 meters apart, but to make this simple and <laughs> not have so much stuff on the desk, I've got a short LAN cable here. It has to be a CAT6 or CAT7. I'll connect it up to the transmitter module. Now watch the receiver module when I plug this in. The minute I plug this in, you're going to see the blue LED in the front come on. And that means power is now being delivered to that receiver module on the other side, and it's going through a power on self-test. Also, there's a handshake going on between these two modules to establish the connection and the transmission of that audio and video across that wire. Now I'll connect up the monitor. And again, this is one connection from the monitor to the HDMI output port in the back. And as soon as this finishes its power and self-test and makes the handshake happen with the primary site, it's now checking the resolution of the monitor. You see this one blink out. They're negotiating the best possible picture for both of these monitors based on the resolution of that second one. This one will come on first, and in a second or two, that second one will come on. And those are all the connections you need. And again, the benefits of this are that not only is the audio and video being transmitted over that network cable, but the power is also being sent there. So it simplifies the installation because you only need one power supply. The last thing I wanted to mention was the infrared blaster kit. This is the infrared in and infrared out. 
you'll plug that into the infrared in here and the infrared out over there, and that will pick up remote control signals at that secondary location and transmit those over the same network connection to the primary location, and then broadcast them out of this unit to the media device that you're controlling. So you can actually fast forward, rewind, and pause things from that secondary location all the way up in that bedroom down to the primary location and control the content you're watching. And it really is just that simple. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UHD IPC230-K HDMI extender kit helpful. It really does provide a very simple way of sharing any of your HDMI media content with a second location up to 70 meters away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution over a single CAT6 or CAT7 cable. It also features local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the media content at your primary location while you're transmitting it to that secondary location. It also included our set of infrared blaster modules that will capture the infrared remote control signals from your secondary location and transmit those over the same network connection so you can actually control your content. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.